Gonna be on the snap. Oh, I think they should be your snap, because then we could look them up and like see what they- They should get my snap? It'd be like a bunch of like 40 or 40, 50 year old men. Yeah. Put in the pod just like, oh, blah, 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 with them on, and then I'll take them off, and then- Yeah, you guys, you guys, all right. Welcome back to Hangar Slang. We Welcome are back, dude. We're freaking killing where, it out where here. Where are we? Where are we? We're in O Town right now. Who knows? Who knows about O Town? I heard it's called Orlando. Oh, okay. Yeah. All those idiots out there. It's another name for I it. I'll say retard. Um, <laughs> you just did already in the first ten no, seconds. No, that's something I'm saying. I'm not gonna say. I'm okay. not gonna not say He's it. He's not gonna say that word, guys. Just for his wondering. All right. Um. So we do have a, a special guest today. Very um, special. From private school to male stripper. Mm. <laughs> To top G. Straight top um, G. Straight top all G. All I can say is welcome aboard Tristan Lago. Tristan Lago, give it up. Play the song. To the white. Is it playing? <laughs> boom. So it was playing. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know. I think I just broke my watch while I was doing those push ups before the server. No way. No. What kind of watch is it? it? It's an Invicta. It's like a fake Rolex. <sighs> It's fine though. It's I mean, like, it looks, it looks like sexy. I, watch. I, mean, dude, I, I literally just popped this. Like too early to be breaking stuff, piece, the, you know the clasp. Boom. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Fuck Pod's it. more important. Of course. So that's well, what get, I've been trying get to get say. Get comfy. Get that mic. Yeah, see what I'm... Perfect. You good, boys? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Chilling, chilling. We got the temporary <laughs> setup up in the uh, Carlson residence. Appreciate the hospitality. Literally a minute ago, you guys told me, like, oh, don't fuck with the table. I was like, all right. Yeah, first thing knocks the table over. We all get horny every once in a while. Yeah. I'll go through it. Tables, dude. All righty. Started well, off, um, Ty. Tristan, how, how have you been? How mm. has Orlando been treating you? I miss the beach, bro. Mm. Like, dude, like, <laughs> let's, be, let's be real here. All, we're all SoFlo boys, right? Yeah, of course. SoFlo, 954. That's course. what I'm saying. Like, we're all 954. Like, exactly. If, if I'm being honest. 954. 954. If I'm being real, bro. Speed like, it up. Downtown, downtown Orlando is not bad, but, like, dude, the beach, like, yeah, I don't think you can emphasize enough how nice it is growing up in paradise. When yeah, people, when yeah, you grow literally. up where people spring break, it's yeah. so yeah. top tier. Like you can't. It's I so, really do think we so, take it for granted. Honestly, it's so hard to move anywhere just because it's like this is the perfect spot. You know Bro, what I mean? You know, you know, it's an hour and twenty minutes to fucking New Smyrna Beach. No, if from I want to take a girl, if I want to like, hey, like let's have a day, you and me, blah blah. Like I'll pack the car, I'll bring the, I'll bring the drinks. Ugh. We can do lunch. That's cute. You guys are playing footsies. That's real cute. Isn't that um, normal? If we, if we want to like have Start a day, in early. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I do. They couldn't last two minutes. How long have we been rolling? <laughs> yeah, already. I've always thought like, imagine like living, going up in Kansas and just seeing no. like meeting, oh, no. going, going to vacation to no. someone in Fort Lauderdale where we live, the best place ever, like and the edge you, of the earth, the edge of the earth. That, not just, it's not just like going on vacation there. You also see like, no offense, but like how much better looking the human beings mm, are. Yeah, in true. places like that. There's a standard for sure, dude. For and sure. that's where we grew up. Like it was normal well, for us. Like, let's be real. We grew up looking at eights, like mm. yeah, like it was nothing. Like nothing all day, all Dude, day. Kids from Kansas. Oh, kids from Kansas? Nebraska. They don't even know how to count to eight. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? They talk, end at six. You, <laughs> But no, dude, like, what would a Kansas eight look like here? Uh, oh, dude, a uh, Kansas eight, a slutty like six, a, oh, God. <laughs> a way too loosey goose six. Because yeah. you know I mean? yeah. <laughs> they open up there in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> You're right, but, dude. Fort all right, Lauderdale real, qu real quick, like I'm just, I just want to say this, real, uh, Tyrus. I've known you for a few years now, whatever, but. I'm so excited to be on the pod with you because, dude, I watched you as a kid. I watched you, how old were you as a freshman? Like, what, 14? 13? 14, 15. Sounds about right. Yeah, like, yeah, dude, yeah. I watched you as a kid. You were the fucking toughest kid. So I was a senior <laughs> on the football team when you were a freshman. And you came into camp and you fucking were hitting seniors like you belonged with the, with the upperclassmen. And because he did, man, because he did. He's I mean, dude, you're not you're, like, let's be real. Like, dude, you're, you're a short king. You're a young prince. You know, you're, <laughs> you're, you're it's just built different. But he, but you're built. You are built different, bro. Mm. You were hitting motherfuckers like mm. at a young age. And I've always from the minute I watched you do that, I loved you. And now you're running a pod. <laughs> With your boys, with Geo, bro, like, dude, yes, like, sir. It comes full circle. It has totally. to come full circle. I'm thrilled to be here, dude. We it's love full circle moments, and we feel like you're completing circle our circle. Too. Circle, I mean, <laughs> yeah. if you put a waffle in there, 
Pot Soggy it. waffle? That's, no, that's for no. after hours. Oh, like a rich that's for you after know, hours. The question is, who's going to eat it, though? <laughs> well, my question is, <laughs> if we all... If we, yeah. <laughs> I feel like you'd be last. No offense, dog. Oh, man. I do you. not take any offense to being last. <laughs> I mean, I don't. From one mustache to another, dog. Mm. Like, like We're all rocking the stashes, we low-key. The stashes. I mean, Tyrus, yours is... It's blonde as shit. <laughs> it's blonde. No, he's rocking it, dog. <laughs> <laughs> he's rocking it. Have you we seen Bullet Train? In the well, theaters yet? On Netflix or what? Oh, it's in theaters. Never mind. I don't even want to talk about it. Alright, right, right, right. no worries. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> any movies? Any top tier movies you've seen lately? Dude, so as of recent, shockingly, like I actually am like trying to settle down. I got one, I, there's one girl I'm interested in, and I had her over the night, and she was like, "Oh, let's watch a movie. Let's actually like not just like have sex all night. You know, let's actually like, <laughs> yeah, watch yeah, a movie. let's do something." And I was like, "Okay, yeah, I, I agree. I'm with yeah. you." Blah blah. Let's. Can we, do you mind watching my favorite movie? She goes, "Yeah, yeah." I'm like. It's Troy. Oh, Troy. My oh. That's, oh. What, that's your go-to. That's <laughs> Brad Pitt's in it, right? Boys, fuck look, yeah, I ain't gay. I ain't gay. But like Brad Pitt as Achilles. Oh my mm. gosh, dude. Yeah. I don't even have to poop. Like, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. That's no, like, Mid movie. Shit. It's that's pretty top tier. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? like, yeah, bro, yeah. He's got the flow. He's got his name's Achilles. They're cheering for him. Ah, Achilles. He's like killing everyone. Ah, Achilles. So did you make it through the full movie with her? Oh, dude, no. We made it. We made it. Like, dude, she didn't even make it to like, she didn't even make it to Achilles, like stabbing the guy in the shoulder. But and yeah. then we were all, You weren't I even was, halfway. I was already in there, bro. I was already in there, like somewhere. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> but, well, what's that one with Russell Crowe? Oh, uh, Gladiator. Yeah, Gladiator. Oh. I think another, that is another like great a good flick. Top tier. The, you know, you know the difference though between for me, but the difference between uh, Gladiator and Troy is Gladiator is all about uh, the main character Russell 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 Crowe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Russell Crowe, yeah. That is Gladiator. It's all yeah. about him, and it's his view. The difference with Troy is like it's multiple people's perspectives, and it's also beautiful people. Mm. Like every actor, it's it's yeah. like Brad Pitt, Orlando Bloom, straight like, dimes. Like every the men, the women, the, the girl that plays uh, that's like the love interest. Dude, top, she's, dude she's out of this I, world. I ain't a simp, but what's the girl version of a top G? She could spit in my mouth. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Is that her husband? Is that her husband <laughs> yeah. that he kills? That? No, no, he kills her cousin Hector. Yeah, so Hector, that's what Hector, it is. the Trojan, war, the, the Trojan hero. Yeah, Trojan I feel like Trojan was more like was more like. Not as serious as Gladiator. I think that's the biggest difference for me. Well, True. it's also a bunch of handsome white people playing like Greek yeah, people that, that would have been had like hairy chests and like you know, right. another one for the team. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Very Still right. a fucking phenomenal movie though. Yeah. Top tier. You like the Jordan Peele? We just watched, what was the new Jordan Peele? Nope. 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 That was kind of fire. So you said it was fire. So I, th- I, I thought it was it. interesting. The, it was the took he had on it dragged aliens. on in the third act, but it was still I enjoyed it because I like I'm really into UFOs, so yeah, I yeah. like it. So then I mean that must that must have been right up your alley. I didn't I haven't seen it yet. Mm-hmm. I just know that Logan Paul caught a lot of shit from his tweets. I don't oh, know, I you, saw you, that. I saw he tweeted. Talking he talked shit about the movie. I'm not a big Twitter guy, but I just know I, I listen I listen to Impulsive like yeah. episode. So I heard that Logan tweeted about it and he saying it was put, horrible. Put out there, he basically put out there like I didn't appreciate it. I didn't like the. Uh, the, the tone of the movie, like the pace. Like, mm-hmm. He was just... He, All right. he, he, he didn't give it a good it. review. Interesting. Yeah. And then everyone came for his head because Talking about spectacles. It's Peel. Yeah. It's Peel, and Peel kind of kills it, you know, if kinda. you know his movie. Dude. Yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah. uh, not Nope. What's the name? Um, Us? Get Out. Get Out. Get Out, Get Out. Get Out, get out yeah. was riveting. One of a kind. One of a kind movie Scary, for sure. Scary, like... Yeah. Thrilling, like yeah. it was. It was top. Mm-hmm. T- it was incredible, and uh, you know, like yeah. So I need to see no. But what, what are your guys' views on it? No I like sp- it. No spoilers. Could have been a little scarier. There was a couple jump scenes that were good, but f- beyond that, the take he had on aliens was like the mm-hmm. whole part of the movie. You know yeah, what I mean? I, like, I enjoyed it. I had a good time. Yeah, I had yeah. a good time at it, and that's all I want. Yeah, he had an interesting take that like I haven't seen an alien movie do. Which was interesting. What, what is the interesting take? Like ET is like they I become can't. friends with him and shit. I can't really like, give the takeaway, or else that, you're, that's you're, the main you know twist. Spoiler warning. The movie. Should we spoil all the aliens? Aliens? all the aliens, aliens are if gay? You, if you haven't seen the movie, which I haven't, but you can still spoil. Don't listen to the next thirty seconds. Mm. You got thirty. You got thirty seconds. I've not seen this movie. This the is a aliens. Spoiler for the, me. <laughs> the aliens and nope. If he wants to share. All right, well, uh, the aliens and nope are gay, and we can get off this topic in five seconds. Wait, five. the aliens suck each other's dicks? Yeah. A little, just eh. like that, dude. I mean, there's, there's some. No there's some definitely. You're gonna have to watch aliens? it to find out. You're gonna have to uh, watch it. I mean, hungry gay aliens. Yeah, yeah. They're not hungry binary. for ass. They're I feel, like you, they're I feel like you have to see. There's the movie a monkey involved. It, it gets. There weird. is a monkey involved. And that's the intro to Monkey Pox, boy. Yeah, and AIDS wasn't mentioned at all. 
I haven't caught up. I feel like after Corona, like I haven't been caught up with any like monkeypox. I haven't seen a single thing about just because I don't care. You know Have you I mean? had COVID yet? Uh, listen, I don't. I, I don't know your stance. I mean, no, I just know like no. have you got, have you tested positive for it? Like, yeah, I just yeah. want to know like how it was for you. Know. You know, oh, you've never I'm tested. A, I'm going on a cruise. So what? Today's what? Uh, Friday night. Mm-hmm. I'm going today's on a cruise. I leave Friday morning. I leave in a week for a cruise. I have a fake vax card and I have a fake booster card because I have never been vaccinated one time. Nah, screw that. And yeah. Why? I'm and just ar- why I'm would just, you? I'm yeah, just an arrogant 100%. piece. Of, I'm just an arrogant piece of shit. Piece of shit. White male. Piece of shit. I, who the fuck I think I am? <laughs> I Kona, think you're just a top Kona G, Kona G bro. <laughs> but you're no, a top I'm, G. I'm an arrogant piece of shit. White male. Whatever. Say what you want. But like, I, I've never been vaccinated. Yeah. And no, I think you're, fu- I think you're in the majority, dude. I think you're in the majority where it's yeah, like you I know, mean, like why mean. why would this guy need to get vaccinated? You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. I was never afraid of it. So, so, and, and I understand, mm-hmm. like, and, you know, I wore masks when I needed to, yep. but I, to, I, to be fair, I didn't wear them as much as I, you know, everyone yeah, yeah. wanted you to, but, and I caught some shit for it, but like, now that like, we all, we did too. Now that like the CDC has officially kind of like ruled it out. Yeah. Have you seen that last yeah, week? Yeah. They was said like, if you have COVID, you still have to go to work. You're good. Right. Yeah. So like, I feel like we're at the point where I'm glad I didn't get vaccinated. If that makes sense. I you am know? glad too. It's I didn't, I didn't get a shot that I didn't need. You know, yeah, I've had friends get pissed at me. Like, why aren't you vaccinated? Like, they've literally like, why? Like, they get mad. I'm like, yeah. why? So, have you had any? Have you had like the first one? You I've had, the, the, booster, I had like? the first one. First vaccine? No, yeah. no, 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 no. COVID. The COVID. first COVID. The first no, I'm talking about the, the va- like I'm wave. talking about vaccine. No, have, you had a, vaccine. have you had a have you put an no, needle no. in your arm? I would be no. honest with it. I don't think any of us have. Yeah, none of just us. Just if have. I would, yeah. Bulletproof yeah. voice. Everyone in yeah. the fucking room. No one would. And guess you know? what? Everyone in the room. Look. That's how you know. Room. That's how you know we're top team material. So it's like, that's how it is. We're podcasting right now, and none of us are vaxxed, and we're all still straight. All right, let me do a pivot step real that's quick. That's if you get vaccinated, you're going to turn gay. That's what I, mean, I was like, scared of. Make you gay, man. That's, what, that's what they're saying. You never that is know. what they're saying. I mean, I'm not Careful the one with that monkey box one, man. They're rushing that shit out quick. You get vaxxed and you're yeah. seeking ass. Like, it happens. It's what, do wanna, what do you want to plug? Let's pivot. Let's pivot real quick. I would like to go larger picture. Tristan, I don't know you, I don't know you too well. Tell me about your life. What are you doing here in, in Orlando? What's your goal? I mean, dude, life is boring now. I'm mm. 25. Like, yeah, I still like to get fucked up and like I pull. I, <laughs> I pull up, <laughs> rephrase. <laughs> loading. I there's a <laughs> I love the loading. Uh, I'm talking. There's a girl I'm very yeah, interested yeah. in at the current time of being right now. But I mean, besides that, like Tyrus, I feel like you you're pretty. You've seen a lot of my work over the last few I've years. I've seen now. some good stuff. It seemed like you've had a, a, a lot of changes, a lot of good stuff going on the last couple of years. Always over 40. I've seen some older women on your... <laughs> like, on your stories, I just... Wait, I, I think, oh, older women. Dude, MILFs are hot. Dude, they are. Something Dude, about them. If, 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 the, if, the, if the hub has done anything for my life, it's told me that, you know what? You can go older. And Why not? Had an older woman help me, like, with a car payment. I've, helped, oh, I've had no. older women... They really know what they want. Yeah. Well, if you put, if you like, can lay down dick, which by the way, for all the like, for all the kings out there that don't like, I am at five and three quarters and six on my tippy toes. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> for all, dog, it's like, not the size of the boat. It's the motion it's of the a, ocean. That's big for facts. Sure. Like dog, like for, sure. for all the dudes out there that like, you know, like shoot your, my word is shoot your shot because women that are older, they want the thrill. They want the like. Yeah, yeah. They really do. The romantic they, they, they want position. that thrill of like, oh, like I'm divorced. I've been taking the same dick for 12 uh-huh. years. Now we have kids with him. I just need a break. I just need a break. They want that 21, 22 mm-hmm. year old fucking mm-hmm. stud that's going to walk in and be like, you know what? Fucking like I'm the man. Yeah. You know what? I'm that guy. I'm that guy. Top G. Exactly. Top G. Yeah, how yeah. Do, how Top do you G think bro. you got, how do you <laughs> think G. you got to a mindset like that? <laughs> Trial and error. I mean, dude, <laughs> when I was 16 is like when like puberty hit and like, yeah, yeah. I, I was already, I was always tall, but like that's when my face changed and I grew my confidence, you know, in high school, as far as like with, with, with women, mm-hmm. you know, like, you know, that's when I was like, oh, like I'm getting more attention. So like, then like the fuck boy Tristan kind of started to roll in. Yeah. But I will say like, dude, like the ability to just like put yourself out there. Like, I feel like a lot of men. And I'm being super serious about this, like being super genuine. If you're willing to just be like, I'm going to go after the hottest girl in this room. And if I eat dick, then like it is what it is. Like, like if I, if I bomb, 
Mm-hmm. Who gives a fuck? You already don't know her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like, I, yeah. Like a lot of dudes are like, a lot of my buddies are like, bro, that girl's so hot. I'm like, oh, go talk to her. Go talk to her. Like, and they're like, no, like, bro, yeah. like what is she? Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, you're, you're right. Who Nothing gives changes. a fuck, dude? Like, bro, you do you know the girl's name? No. Do you know what she does for a living? No. Mm-hmm. Do you know like how much money she has? Do you know anything about her? No. Then who gives a fuck? Who cares? Exactly. Go talk to her. Mm. And if you eat dick, then who? You know what? There's. You know then what she's Sangha probably has? lesbian. <laughs> yeah, she's counter out as a lesbian. Because if she doesn't like you, she's she doesn't want the boy. She's got to she, be. She's, she's got to be. She's got to be eating clam. You know what I mean? Dude, she's carpet Ain't munching. No chance, bro. Yeah. For you, snapper. It's like snapper. Sure. <laughs> but what I say to him, I'm just like, dude, like you're right. You, you already don't know her. Who gives a fuck, dude? Shoot your shot. People have a and problem with rejection. They don't like rejection. Um, Especially it's in today's also the age. intimidation thing. It's like, what are you afraid of? Mm-hmm. Like, if like as a man, it's like, not to not to tune into tape, but like, let's be real here. Like, going to tape, switching over here. Listen, I'm not saying everything. I'm not saying I agree with everything he says. The man's top tier comedy, though. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. Fun. Dude, if I can't watch an Andrew Tate clip without laughing. If nothing but, else. Yeah. But if you really hear what he says, it's like, what are you afraid of? Yeah. Put yourself out there. Yeah. yeah. Cause you're, it's like you already don't know the girl. You already don't know the situation. You already, you're already not getting laid. What yeah. are you gonna do? Just go home and jerk off? That's what you're gonna do anyway. Yeah. Why? Do, why wouldn't you just go up shot, to her? Dude. Well, totally. I agree. I have 100 percent agree. Tyrus, how are we doing with the ladies, bro? Talk mm. to me. dude. Because I love you to death. I've been frugal. Really, really I've been frugal. Know, I've been frugal. I've been frugal. I'm looking for love, man. I'm looking for love. So I'm actually trying. Ty's to Are you full of shit? Or are you actually talking? Ty's right looking for I'm that one. I'm actually talking. I'm like literally looking for a girl who can make me laugh. They're so bred nowadays to just like yeah. accept, mm-hmm. and they're not as willing to give. Like, bro, I mean, I'm not even talking. Not not even sexually. I'm just talking about like yeah. personality. Yeah. Pay pay for shit. Like the ability, like just to mm-hmm. be loving. Yeah. This mm-hmm. is something Tay said. Warning. Go in. Yeah, yeah. He was like, I want, I want to be the portal to the girls' world. I want to be the portal to everything. He mm. was talking about oh, yeah, those social girls. They're like, yeah, I know the club promoter. Is he fucking wrong? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, dude. dude I want the not. cute village girl. I, I, I want the. I want a girl that is going to be fascinated by me. I want a girl that's going to mm-hmm. be fascinated by the way I act, the way the way I talk, the way I mm-hmm. treat her. Yeah, yeah. Well, and even on the reverse, like I'm, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to meet a girl that I'm fascinated by. You know, not mm-hmm. some boring ass. Like they got to be into some interesting shit by now. You know what I mean? Well, let's Something look at your fit table. already. You know what I mean? Like, dude, you're, be you're an interesting guy. So. You got to. You can't, can't be normal. Like, he's a pilot. Like, he's freaking mm-hmm. killing it. Wait. Can't be normal. Are you actually a pilot? I got my license. Yeah, I mean, what, fly what, what does that mean? I got my license. This, can you I, fly a plane? I can fly a plane, of course. You want to go up? Me and my boy. This guy's about to have his commercial license. He's going to be in it. He, this guy's the top G pilot right here. I mean, bro, he's tall, handsome, and tan. Dude. He's, mm-hmm. he's got He's it. And half black. And half black. Half black, too. Well, love that. There's no way you're half black. Dude, he uh, carries... That's some uh, way I am. He has dude what, what, what are you, a quarter Jamaican? No, I'm like, uh, let's see. My dad's Dominican, and his his dad was Dominican. Only Dominican? Yeah, but then my, I think my great-grandmother was Asian. So you got that black dick. He, huh? he, can say yeah. half of the, he can say half of the N-word. Honestly, yeah. It's, I'll you say can make it's, it to uh, the NIG. Yeah, I can make yeah. it to NIG. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. He can't stick yeah, the landing. Respect. He can't stick the respect. landing, but he'll make it halfway. Top G. <laughs> Top G, I'm a top G. <laughs> He's a top G. Uh, what are you doing down here in Orlando? I mean, what takes you? Why are you still here well, then? It's up here, it sucks. <laughs> I, 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 so you're in school. You're in school. I'm, I'm in. I'm 25 years old, and unfortunately, I'm still have a year of school. I, I've had. I've had a crazy path. I mean, like, Tyrus knows a bit of it. Yeah, yeah. I played college football. Yeah. You I explored quit, options. I quit, I quit college football. I, yeah, yeah. Sucks. I feel like. I, I was. I, I, hate, uh, I was a male stripper for. Yeah, nah. <laughs> so I want to get into nah. that. I do. <laughs> what's your What's your day to day look like? Just like right now. My day to day right now is I work. I work as a my title my official title is digital content producer. I work for a law firm in downtown Orlando. Oh, I live cool. close to downtown Orlando. Yeah. Monday through Friday, I'm going into work. You know, I'm where I'm. You know, typical corporate. I'm like fucking commercial? button ups. Suit and I tie, wear a tie. Baby. Suit I wear and some tie. slacks. I look clean as fuck. Mm-hmm. But you know, and I'm shooting footage. I'm running interviews. I'm running. Mm. You know, running the lights. A lot like you guys have done, which, by the way, side note, I'm so fucking impressed. Appreciate you. Listen, ha- say take, what the fuck you want about hanger slang, dude. Like, if nothing the, else, the boys got their shit together. They have the a setup. full fucking mic set. They have multiple lights going, multiple camera angles. Yeah, mics running. Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah, and no. if I, I do this shit like, for a living, bro, and the fact that I'm here and I offered my help and I said, look, I can help you shoot, I can help you edit. No, 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 we got it. We got it. Got it, dude. Come Who on. the fuck am I here? What episode yeah. is this? Is this twenty uh, something? 20- Six, I think. Twenty six. By twenty six, we got it down. Talk we got it down yeah. by twenty six. You know what I mean? Air. Oh, here we go. 
Let's Fire. Go. We got it. Fire. <laughs> so you were saying earlier you missed the beach. Uh, what what did you, what did you do last in like Fort Lauderdale, Pompano? When were you living there last before you moved back up to Orlando? <sighs> So Let's get into it. I, I played I played college football from like eighteen to twenty, and then I, for UCF here. No, no, no. I played up north in Chicago, and okay. um, for a small D two. True. And uh, I just I just yeah. Got not to. not full ride. Not not full ride. Not do not go, don't get it wrong. I was not full ride. I was you know, I was partial, but it was majority. You took what you got. You yeah. know what I mean. It was majority, oh, yeah. but you know, still private schools are expensive. But anyway, I just. I was fucking miserable. The cold sucks. Like, dude, when you, bro, when you already don't have yeah. a big ass dick yeah. and then you're walking <laughs> in fucking frigid weather, oh, dude, you're shriveled up. My shit was sure. like, <laughs> like, am I trans? Like, yeah. what? <laughs> Is this a, <laughs> <laughs> women are like, what's that? I'm like, dude, it's, it's what I feel it's on the it's inside. It's embarrassing, yeah. is what it's <laughs> called. It's ma'am. It's ma'am. Yeah. It's ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I, I was miserable, so I came back home, right? And I was a fucking loser for a year and a half. I moved into the room that I grew up in with my mom, you know? But, and I was trying to get jobs. I was trying to just get, like, waiter jobs because that's all I had, right? You know, serving experience. Yeah. But about two weeks into not getting a job and making no income, I was like, I had seen Magic Mike previously and, like... You know, mm, that's what sparked it. I had seen Magic Mike previously and I just knew, like, I had this feeling. I was like... I'm bold enough. Oh yeah. You know, it takes yeah. a personality to do that. Oh yeah. yeah. And I was like, I'm bold and I may not be a great dancer, but I know I'm fucking yeah. bold and I'm brave and I'm like not afraid to put myself I saw out the there. TikTok, man. I would have to disagree. <laughs> no. I'm not a great dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I can <laughs> Top G's adequate. I can oh, dance good enough. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Good. You can get by. You get by on the dancing. And so, and I was about to keep in mind, I'm living at home with my mom. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Did she know? There has to be like a level of support there. But no. Pumped no, no. Support. So I didn't tell my mom for like two months. Oh, oh, shit. I didn't t- so my mom was like, oh, like you're working late hours. And I was like, yeah, because dude, a, a regular shift. So a Monday, th- uh, like a Monday through like Thursday shift mm-hmm. is going at seven, get off at two. Yeah, that's about normal. Friday, Saturday, Sunday is go in at seven, get off at like three, four. Okay. Maybe have to keep entertaining after that. Like, mm. you know what I mean? Depending on what private deals you get, you know what I mean? If you want to make your money, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so... I feel that. And so... uh, A couple private rooms. Dude, you know, so I I kept lying to my mom, bro. My mom was like, like, you know, you're getting home real late. (laughs) (laughs) Do I need to keep leaving the door unlocked this night? I was like... Yeah, yeah. yeah." yeah. (laughs) She says, what are you doing busting tables at J. Marks? I was like... There's just a lot of silverware. <laughs> we're worked and we're It's, it's, it's busy over we're there. Little, she, little did you know, I was shaking the patient deal in front of a bunch of women's faces for money. <laughs> oh. And dude, but it was a thrill because I went so, I went, I didn't get hired. I went to like Outback Steakhouse, like te- Fridays, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't getting hired. So I was just like, fuck, I got to make money. And I seen Magic Mike. I was like, I, I could do that. Yeah. And also like, you know me, I'm all in it for the story. So I, I, ca- I called the, I called the club up. I said, and you know, I, whatever. I was like, Hey, what time will you guys be open? They're like, I'm looking for work. They're like, they go be there at seven. Like, okay. I pull up at seven, knock on the door. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, dude, dude opens it. He's the owner. He looks me up and down. He goes, all right, come on in. All right. You made it. I'm like, all right, whatever. He sits me down on the table. He asked me, he asked me like two questions. Like, how old are you? Like, you know, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm like Hey, like I'm kind of in between school. Like, well, I used to play college football, blah, blah, blah. He goes, take your shirt off. Mm-hmm. All right, casting couch. Oh, take, take my shirt off. He looks me up. He goes, I can work with that. Uh, he goes, he goes. When can you start? I go tonight. He goes, you're on stage at eight. Oh, oh and this wow. is at seven oh. fucking p.m., bro. Nice. He goes, he goes. We'll get, he goes, we'll get you everything you need, dude. Within the next twenty minutes, they handed me two fucking male g strings. Yeah. And like, he yeah. Said, what songs do you oh, like? What? I said. What did you go? Usher. <laughs> <laughs> you Usher with I was it. Like, you went- Is this is this all solo stuff or are you like in like yeah, a so, group of guys? So true. Once you question. once you kind of earn your stripes a bit, you get to like do an act with the boys, mm-hmm. which, is like, okay. which you saw on TikTok. Like that's once I had some months, you know, some work in. Mm-hmm. You were but, front and center too. But, you but dude, and granted, he made me open. So like when when you open at eight p.m. 
no, ain't no bitches. Like nah, that. nah. You know, like ain't, there's no women there. It's the watching. starting shift. No one but, cares. A couple of dudes, I bet. A couple of dudes. Dude, the I'm not saying. There. You know what everyone said? A lot dude, of people gave up. me. A lot of people gave me shit. Like, oh, bro, you're gay. You're sus. It's like, dude, the four months I worked there, even in the locker room, I never saw one dude's dick. No. It was. Wow. And, That's surprising. And, and everyone's surprised by that. But it's like, no, because by the way, I didn't work for a gay club. I worked for La Bear Ladies Nightclub in Fort Lauderdale. I worked yep. for, okay. uh, uh, I worked I've for, passed La Bear a couple times. I know yeah, the vibe. Oakland Park Boulevard. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, Which is very close to Wilton. So you'd figure, you know, you'd <laughs> figure. You ever go in, Geo? Haven't, haven't gone into there yet. Hey, no, gee, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if this guy was working there, maybe we I'd peep it. A, we, were, peep it. <laughs> we were 50 feet away from a nude beach. Oh yeah. Geo just leaves us. I was like, fuck it, guys. And I'm gonna give me some fuck glasses. Down. Geo like leaves just takes off his shorts like oh, yeah. cock out. Dude, Dude, you'd be surprised by some of the people you saw. They had there. pieces on them. Yeah. Like, yeah. Really? Was, and they're they helicopter. And That's they embarrassing when you don't have a big ass piece. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude, yeah. We, yeah. We our and and the water gets cold, dog. Let's just talk about dude, it. Yeah. Damn, yeah, man, those feet, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some people really like you could tell yeah, that's what they did. Like that was yeah, they, they would go to the nude beach every day yeah. and just strut their stuff. And they, it was we, there were some nice pieces. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah me and Tyrus got waved at actually. Dude, we played limbo from the, from the I, water. We played limbo under one. I would say this no, this nude beach <laughs> so long. Like, this nude beach was like a one to fifteen ratio. Is this Miami like, or is this Fort Lauderdale? Where is Miami, this? Sunny this is like Hollow Beach. Yeah, Sunny, I, yeah, yeah. I've I've done a lot of photo shoots on that beach. There you go. I would say it's like a one to fifteen ratio of like tits to dick. Yeah. So yeah. When, when I yeah. so I modeled from nineteen to twenty one, and when when I that's pretty young. Like I, yeah, you guys yeah. are what you guys are what 21, 22? 22 ish. Yeah. I, like dude, let's be real here. Like twenty twenty one, you're still pretty young. Like I'm twenty five now, so like I have a little bit more perspective. But mm -hmm. dude, when I was twenty like twenty, like I was very like influenceable, and I was with this photographer. He goes, all right, like time for the nude shot. Like take your shit off. Huh. Okay, I like took <laughs> my shit off. Like dude. Yeah, like, I didn't manscape. Shit was my dick yeah. was not cute. Like, nah. like I was I was shriveling up, bro. It was shit was <laughs> unimpressive. And you know what's funny? He only sent me like the finished, like edited ones where that look good. Where like the water's like up to my like dick line. And I'm like, I look all sexy. Yeah, yeah. But like later on, I saw the raws of like <laughs> bro, where the water wasn't high enough. It was no. like down by my thighs and my little ass dick. Is just <laughs> just floating on the it's a buoy. It's a little buoy. Dead ass. It was just yeah. bouncing in the fucking waves. You know, it was. <laughs> bro, it was tough titties. Like that, yeah, that's a yeah. tough look. I was like, damn. Titties. <laughs> Dude, and bro, funny. the worst part is like my boys like found his Instagram page, so they they like oh, uh, no. they you apart. They blew that up. Dude, to sure. this day, they still send me like those photos. Well, as long as they haven't seen the raw ones. Oh, I mean, maybe it's not out send there. That, yet. Send that in the group chat one maybe. day. A lot of girls, a lot of girls have seen the raw ones and been disappointed. Yeah, I'm just playing. Wait, <laughs> I can stop the size of the boat. It's the ocean of the ocean. Tsunami's coming. So. Yeah. All right, uh, back to the girls. Let me talk to me. Let me dive in. All right, so Gio, I watched episodes, dog. Yeah, yeah. You got a lot of conflicting views on not not views, but you, you maybe. Got a is it yeah. fair to say you had a little tough time with women or what? Like, you know what? I actually, it's crazy to say that. I just, I just, my girlfriend and I just recently split. Yeah, actually. So yeah. it's like I've are you been. No, like, are you like bullshitting a, me or is this? No, real? no, no, this is for real. It's like a three year um, relationship. It was a long. It was like an out of high school thing that's lasted to like now. It's been f four years out of high school, and it's like I'm new to the game. You know. Well. Yeah. Well, where but where are you at with it though? So whenever a girl ends things with me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always, if I actually give a shit about the girl, I'm heartbroken for about a month and a half, maybe two months. Yeah. I'm like really down. I'm down bad. Like I, call, I, my, my girlfriends that are like platonic, I call them like every night. I talk to my mom way more because like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just craving that feminine attention. Mm -hmm. I just crave that feminine. I'm trying feminine to like, energy is like so unmatched. I f you're say so what you, right. You're, you're right. You're, you're right. Dude, dude, say what you want about it. Like the, when a woman knows how to make you feel like a man, mm -hmm. mm. There's just nothing it's that the highest that. Thing like ever. it's just whether it's her touch, the way she talks to you, the way she mm -hmm. touches you, like her, just something about it. It just makes you feel like yeah. PUBG. You know what I mean? Yeah, yes. for and sure, dude. So I can only imagine after three years, like losing. Yeah, that. yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it was it was just on and off at the end, and it, you know, so it kind of like buffered it a little. But um, how I would put it is just at, at this moment, at this like place, like I I know personally, I'm at a good spot, and I'm trying to build myself up. To where I can like look down and be like, hopefully in the future, just look down and be like, all right, I'm ready to go. Like, let's fucking get it. Don't think I'm there yet. We'll see. We'll see. Well, bro, it takes time, dude. Like, For sure. The fact For that sure. you have the balls to fucking say it. Like, totally, totally. I mean, the, hey, listen, the age. 
help, but you know, oh we're, we're there. You literally just told me that. <laughs> I don't know if you want to die into it, but. Suspend yeah, this yeah. man 11 games yeah. at five years. <laughs> yeah. That's a Deshaun Watson reference, please. Anyone that knows sports, please. Do you hear about Marshawn Lynch? Yo, his mugshot is crazy. Please play it right now. Put no. the fucking mugshot up. Dude, I'm not play it. It. dude, have you seen his face? He's like, he's like one eyes closed. Of it. Like one eye's going that way, the other one's going. He's yeah. like, the man looks like a chameleon. Two of his front rims are just destroyed. I didn't gone. See the, I just his car. The accident, but. Dude, dude, I saw the video of him getting arrested, and it's just like, hey, you steal this car? He's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I saw the video of him in college at Cal fucking whipping the golf cart. <laughs> Nothing the man does like surprises me at this point. <laughs> He's a baller. Top top G, but yeah, no. Anyway. Top G. Speaking of top G, just uh you wanna break the news, G? Just Let's slide into news. it. Break the news. All I know is I was scrolling on Instagram on McKay. Our, our, our prince, our hero. No more, no more Tate on on the gram, you know. And I'm I'm kind of confused now. Like Cobra Tate ain't biting anyone anymore. I'm freaking out, you know. No Tate. And here's what I'll say: If there was like the worst move Instagram could do, it would be banning Tate on Instagram. Because now, now he's oh. gonna go to another level. All, level. All he's his be boys. Like, I don't know, dude. You totally. I'm, I'm sus on that Tate. This is what I'll say, dude. Since Instagram banned him, he's now going to get so much more attention because now he's valid. Now Instagram's validated him. And everything that his content has, anything that's gone viral from his content wasn't even from his Instagram. Well, the thing about it, so I don't know, I, I don't pay for his uh, Tate, you know, not, yeah. not Tate. No, yeah, uh, yeah. Hustlers University. Hustlers, Hustlers I don't, University. Honestly, I'm going to be, I don't think anyone does, but like, you know. He claims he has 188,000 subscribers. Who stay, who like Consistent, stay, yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know. I, like I said, I don't know stats on that. All I know is that I follow his Instagram, but I'd say 95% of the shit I watch on him is elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Outs like there's yeah. so many other people promoting his shit. Yeah. Party. Uh, exactly. Be like uh, outside people promoting his shit. Yeah. And I, listen, I don't agree with all the views a man has. Like, some of his shit's just funny to like, yeah. as a, as totally. a band. Yeah, as totally. like, hilarious. Dude, uh, so the girl I'm talking to, like, she's incredible like i she dude she's she's great but, she's great. wow <laughs> dude, bro, for me to simp like that takes a lot i'm gonna yeah, add like, like hard eyes great. around above like, your head the other day i posted a snap story and i i was like me i was looking good at work and i was like top g top g, I top g. Top g. Top g. Top g. Dude, yeah. that night she was like yeah yeah you were gonna have you. a problem you you looked like an asshole i was like, <laughs> I was like babe way to take that from me you know but I what is like moment. like there has been like a weird shift where like the last few generations have been flooded with like femininity and it's all been very like mm. soft and so there's one guy who comes along and starts saying how men kind of might feel in their head and then from that point we're like huh that was kind of weird what he said about the misogynistic yeah. stuff but like i agree with that and then i feel like that's what's sticking a lot of people to it and his people that are just posting tons and tons of YouTube. So a lot of people are just fanboys that are posting a ton of shit. But like at the end of the day, like something that I think us three can touch on is I grew up without any dad in my life. I grew up, I was raised by my mom. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, like I make, I say it as a joke, but like I genuinely mean it. I'm shocked that I didn't, didn't turn out gay or more, more feminine. And yeah, like, yeah. I am a yeah. little bit probably more sensitive because I was raised by a woman, but I still turned out to be a fucking athlete college football player i'm a leader of men like i know how mm. to like i'm good with women like you know i i'm masculine yeah which thank god but what happens with this generation now like dude people send their kids mm. to school and they're taught that like genders aren't a thing yeah no that i believe that's insane like what the fuck are you, what, what are you doing like you they're like i have a friend of mine he, he had a, he had a kids too a little bit early in life mm-hmm Earlier than you know, I would prefer. Yeah. And what I hear, what I hear about it is, oh yeah, like his son is, you know, wearing dresses because the mom is wants him to be appropriate. And I'm like, yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, don't want to fucking like. I'm I glad I'm not there. Like, you know, I'm, I'm glad not I'm not there. Kid, she, like she even has the mental capacity to choose. I mm -hmm. think, and at, and, at, and at the mother's stage. like, the mother's like, oh, he likes it. It's like, how do you, the, what do you mean? What do you mean? How do yeah. you know? Like, has he has can't. he watched football? Has he? Yeah. And I'm not pushing. I'm not trying to push masculine bullshit onto him. But it's like, what are you doing? Like p forcing him into a more feminine role? Because you know why? When he grows up and be a man and and becomes a man and he is straight, if you know, assuming you know, if yeah, he's, straight yeah. him, he's not gonna behave appropriately. He's not gonna know how to touch a woman appropriately. He's not gonna know how to like be masculine. He's not gonna know how to act like a man. He's not mm -hmm. gonna be. He's not gonna be assertive. Because at the end Very of the day, what do well, women also want? Also, a good question is, what is your like, what is your specific view on being a man? We were talking last night 
about a little bit of Andrew Tate stuff. Mm-hmm. This question kind of popped in my head. Like, what is your definition of a man? Of a man? Of a man. Do you, do you, like, do you guys want to go in first? Because, I mean, you guys... Are I would, I would love to hear your guys' because yeah, I thought about this. I think it starts with a little bit of masculinity. Yeah, yeah I mean... That, but, like, you're biologically... You gotta have a penis. masculinity well, is because... We'll, We'll start simple. You got to have a penis, right? Mm-hmm. Start from there. Okay. You know start what I mean? There. Yeah. You got We're to. Breaking I mean, the that's, steps down. That's a man, you know? I mean, from there, where we can go goes in different directions. I guess it all comes to, like, the point of how you were raised and what you've been taught throughout high school. Out high school, we had Coach Hosa. He was the biggest, like, view on, like, yeah, be a man. This is what you do. It's how to be a man. This is how you be a man. So, We'll all think that's how you be a man. But there's some people that could grow up in some high high school who are not being taught that, that like, yeah, well, you can transition. You can be fluid, your gender. Like, you, it's okay to live your feelings, which is fine. But at some point, biologically. Yeah. <laughs> at the end of the day, a woman wants to get fucked and treated and protected. Exactly. Exactly. And at the end of the day. Great. I feel like there has to be a level of pride. Yeah, you think so? I'm a not, certain level of pride. I, I, I may walk that line a little too close of the confidence and arrogance. Yeah, but at the end of the day, if a, any woman that's in like it, around me or in in my life like knows, well, those are he, very close things. I feel like they are, and and, and and it's you know sometimes it can be tough, but at the end of the day, like any woman that that's around you as men, mm-hmm. you know, all you guys. They should know who the fuck daddy is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's not that's not <laughs> who a derog- the fuck daddy and bro, and that's not a derogatory thing at all. That's not yeah. like that's not like a, oh like you have daddy issues. No, it's like you should behave in such a way. Yeah. Kind of like, mm. not like I said. I don't agree with everything Tate says, but like be, be an adult, have your shit together, you know, provide, yeah, protect, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. protect is big. Some women yeah. don't like their their guys to have their shit together though. They they want a problem to fix. Yeah, those are fuck up. Those are fuckheads. Those you, are fuck ups. You yeah. ever go stay at home dad? Oh yeah. What if your girl was making more than you and she was like, you know what? You can take care of like the baby. You know, fun. You know something funny? <laughs> I'm not intimidated by women that are more educated and make more money than me. No, really not. Because at the end of the day, what I'm really good at is I'm good at production. I'm good at content creation. I'm good, I'm good at being funny. I bring a lot of things to the table and I lay down dick. You know, and <laughs> I. You know, and I understand what I'm good at. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a protector and I can't provide, but I've never been one of those men that's intimidated by if I dated a girl that's a doctor, if I dated a girl that's a lawyer, if I dated a girl that, you know. I feel like, the I top like nobody them. should be surprised by women's success. Yeah, Dude, it's like, sexy to me, bro. When a girl's, right? when, a girl has her, when a girl's are just so right. she's educated. Well, I heard knows. the statistic that like over 50% of women who have an IQ over like the normal amount decreases their chances of finding a man there decreases their chances of marrying someone i mean that's hate to be the, i've I never hate, heard that but i hate to be it was guy, like Kayla I, Peter, peterson jordan peterson's daughter said it i heard it on a tiktok she, clip i could see some yeah she is bad she's a smoke. And yeah I mean, because she thinks she's like well what why would i need a man i'm already a lawyer right now yeah because i mean why would I need a man? she's she's a single mom exactly like, yeah. at the end of the day like the bitch is a single mom like yeah like, yeah you're good looking you're intelligent but like what what do you like yeah, you're a single yeah. mom now raising a child by yeah. yourself mm. and you still probably want dick like yeah. she's probably just taking dick on the side like, her husband she has a husband just give it a couple husband. of weeks it'll Wait, be like so tate she does have a husband yeah 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 i, I, have no I was under the influence that she was she got married did she oh, right. yeah well I feel maybe, like I maybe, maybe, maybe i'm maybe i'm ignorant like she that. did hang out with andrew tate that's what i thought i saw i saw that but she she's married that makes it even weirder not gonna lie I mean, there's a lot of dumb men out there, so I can see if you're like a woman and like you know you have a high IQ and you can have conversation. There's a lot of men that don't fit that picture, you know, mm-hmm. and that that makes sense. That's a a good thing in my eye, you know. God, none of those men are on this fucking set right now. Yeah, let's sing. Geo, I mean, yeah, Geo, yeah. You're single now. Um, mm-hmm. Not pushing you into that field so often, but like, are you comfortable approaching women? Are you comfortable with breaking the ice? I'd say to a gr- to a de- to a degree. Um, cold approaches are tough. I'm not gonna lie. They, cold approaches are tough, tough because as men, you put yourself out there. Yeah, but like today, like I I got into a certain scenario where some girl was doing something that I had a common interest with, and I went up to her and I talked to her, and we had a good conversation. You know what I mean? Remember? Didn't get the number. She's Did not now. get the number. There was reasons why I didn't get the number. That's all I'm gonna say. But um. If they have a common interest with with me, it's a lot easier. A cold approach is still kind of tough for me. Not gonna lie. I don't hate it. Like I, I definitely grew up with a you know a bit of a taste of the 
taste for the theatrical as mm-hmm. far as like how I approach. exactly. I always looked at myself as like a movie character. Like I watched yeah. I, all I always yeah. watched movies with Zac Efron where he was the Dude. Oh, yeah. and you know what's funny like I've always I've just overall like even like whatever like I've always had success with women like whether it's talking, breaking the ice, taking them home, whatever, like whatever. But people ask me this sometimes they're like, oh, like where do you get it from? Is it confidence? Like where, where, where do you get this? From? And, and I'm like, I watch movies. Yeah, yeah, I, dude. I, yeah. Yeah. Dude, yes. like, I, I dude, where do you get yeah. it from? I, my, my personality, who I grew into, is because I took a little bit from movies. Like movies. Whether, whether it was, it's stupid, but like whether it was Tarzan, whether it was like yeah. Tarzan as a kid, whether it was like Hercules, whether it was mm-hmm. um, DiCaprio, Zac, Ef- Zac Efron in High School Musical, whether you know DiCaprio what, from uh, what's the movie called? Great uh, Gatsby. Great Gatsby. Oh, for sure. Great Gatsby. Or like what, legendary or, or, character. I mean, just. The level of confidence, the weather, the, how you carry yourself as a man, how you protect, like just everything. Like, I didn't have a dad in my life. That's so I took it from movie roles. I just watched it, and I was like, that dude get that dude gets the hottest girl. For sure. That dude pulls the you know like, yeah, that dude yeah. knows how to speak. But I feel like it's different if you're just going out looking for a girl to hook up with, and then and like, like compared to a girl that you're looking to date. To get like well, your 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 mm. options change, and it's so, very easy to signal girls out that you're just like well. We're not gonna date, like so. I'm looking for girls who are marriable. Be, be, you're, you're genuine about that shit. I swear, bro. I'm not trying to yeah, hook up with girls. Trust me. Old. They, you, they can all attest. If I, meet, if I didn't meet the girl that I'm now talking to a, a month and two days ago, I would not. I would be on my fucking tear, bro. I would still be like yeah. taking Get taking it, numbers, yeah. dude. Let's be real. I want to hit triple figures. Triple mm-hmm. figures. Like I wanted. It's a goal of yours. I'm. I'm not. Yeah, I wanted to do far like, off. I'm not too far off. Like, let's be honest. And, yeah, and I wanted, I, that's something sure. I really wanted to do. And like, it was like, it was like, a, I had this conquering mentality. Like mm-hmm. every room I walk in, I'm going to, I want to take home the hottest chick. Yeah. I, I'm the fucking G. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm the man. Like yeah. I want, you know, I live by myself. Like I provide, like, and I had this mentality and bro, there's beautiful women in my life. Like, okay. you know what I mean? Like the, the, I've been able to travel and shit. Cause like when you travel to other cities, but you already have a girl there, it's like, bro, like all I got to mm-hmm. do is pay for the plane ticket. You know, I don't got to play for pay for a B&B. But genuinely curious. About, I got you, dog. I'm genuinely curious about it because I just went. Th- I've gone through such a tear phase where, like, I just wanted to like run through as many hot girls as I could. Uh-huh. And the hottest thing ever. What? I told this to Elena, uh, the girl I'm talking to. Elaine. Elena. Elena. <laughs> I told this to her uh, a couple nights ago. I said, "You know what the hottest thing you ever did to me was?" She goes, "What?" I got. You sent me home. Sent yeah, off. It's true. Dude, too. she had me in her place. <laughs> 2 a.m. She looks so sexy, bro. I had my shirt off, bro. I was looking, I was looking good, dog. And she, she sent me home. She goes, "You got to go home." I said, "Why? Can we just lay in your bed? Can we cuddle for 30 minutes?" Blah blah. blah. She goes, "No, nah, you got to go home." Ooh. And that's when you knew, you're like, oh, she's not playing around. I was just, cause the thing, the thing about it is when you hit on like high value women. And when I say high, I mean, I, yeah. I'm talking about like women that are like super good looking are, and are are mentally also, self-aware all, about everything. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mentally self-aware, know their value and they have the self-confidence to tell you. Cause bro, like, yeah, uh, not to toot my own horn, but like, bro, like I, I, most girls fucking give in most mm-hmm. girls, like most girls, if I make out with them, it's fucking over, bro. I got to yeah. take them back to the, to my place. <laughs> it's over dude. Like, you know, and that's just another, that's another one for the boy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Lay oh. down the magic mic. <laughs> Jump on it. Has a girl ever asked you to like do a dance yeah. for her? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. No. And, and the problem is, you know what's funny? I always say I'm retired, but two t- two tequila shots in, I'm like, shit. I'll put I'll sit them down in the chair. I'll put that hand on their neck. What was oh, the name? What was the it. stage name? Maverick. Maverick. Maverick comes in after the two tequila shots. I watched Gun. I, watch, I love Top Gun as a kid, so I'd fucking put on the shades. Some would say it's soft core. on stage. <laughs> well, those aren't. You got you got some aviators. I had the aviators. Uh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Some would say it's soft core homo erotica. Top Gun, the first one. Mm, Dude, bro. Yes, they do. Listen, I ain't gay, but like, that's a gay movie. I ain't gay, but like, bro, they're playing volleyball, all greased up. You know, I'm not gay, but I will work hard and get there. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like I work hard, dude. I'll get there. Like pooping. Dude, how how <laughs> funny is it that like Tom Cruise is like our like genetic hero? It's like, oh that's Tom Cruise is the guy, but he's five like he's five eight. Six, Zach Efron six, five eight. Tom Cruise five eight. Mark Wahlberg five eight. Well, that's why Zach Efron's able to look so shredded. Though. But the only thing about he's them short, bro. Like, and they're movie stars. <laughs> that, but what I'm saying is like 
you can make a guy look good on screen, but oh, like, yeah. dude, like, I don't know. If Zach Efron walks in the room, I'd be like, what's up, dog? Yeah. Like, right. like, if Pete Davidson wasn't a comedian, would he pull? No, I mean, Bro, yes. How does Pete Davidson pull I think the so. fucking He's a house? comedian. He's I, famous. Dog, Pete Davidson pulls the highest level pussy you're, you're going to have a pro- hard problem with that He's one. famous, and he's a comedian, Dude, and he makes girls Pete laugh. Pete Davidson has pulled Ariana Grande. He's pulled... Kim K. Right now, currently, Kim K. No, oh, not anymore. Not anymore, but Looking he's pulled... Up. Well, I mean, he's... He's been Broken pulling. Up. Well, let's be real. Like, we he always did knew pull they that. They had a back and forth but, pull. For bro, sure. even besides that, who's the other actress? I don't know. They did a couple models. models. Too like, much. Way too much. Dude, the whole vibe. Pete Davidson dicks down the highest level pussy. And it's I'm the like, self-deprecation. Hey, dude, that guy walked in the room. None of us would be intimidated. No. We'd, we'd look at him like, dude, I could stick you in the face and you'd fucking fall. Like, dude, mm-hmm. like, Where's what the fuck dad, is that bro? guy going to do to us? But dad, I do think he's a way bigger baller than MGK. I think MGK is just oh, no, so, no, like, M- dude. Listen, so weird. You gotta, you gotta know MGK is near and dear to my heart. So Blood, weird. Bro, bloody, you know what's funny? The girl I'm talking to now, Bloody Valentine. That song is like single handedly like what started with the spark between me and her. Mm. Obviously, I was into her and like she was into me physically, but like I, I looked. She was on Ox one night and I looked at her phone and I saw that MGK was in her recent. I uh-huh. said, hey, "You like Machine Gun Kelly?" Because that's my Ooh. top artist, right? I go, "You like Machine Gun Kelly?" She goes, "Yeah." I'm like, "Boom." I'm like, I'm like, wait. I'm like, wait a minute. All right. All right. No bloody Valentine. She goes, I love that song. I would have bought her a pregnancy Boom. test. Da, 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 da. <laughs> the simulation just went bad, but you're the best I ever had. Like, can't. Hey. Right, I'm not going to do this. But like, get this guy yeah. some headphones so he can hear what he's singing right now. <laughs> Damn. Great. Hey, but, to, to switch over, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, rave culture. I saw you went to EDC. Have you? What, are you guys big fest guys? Oh yeah, yeah. We I are. Mean, but I don't want to. Cu- I don't want to. I've known you for like an hour and a half, but like, dude, I, can, fest, I, fest, I can read. I can read the fucking. Words. It's a fest. culture. It's a culture. Like, it's, dude, lose it, a button, Gio. It's been. It's lose been a button for the boys. Though. I was hoping to get it on later, but I mean, <laughs> listen, I'm not. You know, I'm not against it. Lose a button for the boy here. Pull it back. Yeah. Pull it back. There we go. <laughs> yeah, get, get that one chest there. Go. <laughs> I love it. Fest, fest culture though, been fire. It's been fire lately. Well, so I'm not deep. I'm not deep in the artists. I, I I enjoy the music. Yeah. But I general I can only really handle like one rave a year. And gen- because now I live in Orlando, that's mm-hmm. only EDC Orlando. Mm-hmm. You know, it happens every what, October or something. Yeah, we did it. We did it last year. Me and Alec. Alec yeah, it was I. fire. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty what, fire. What was your favorite set? Uh, you have do you, to go. Do you go... guys roll or do you guys trip or do you guys do anything <sighs> for it? Because I'm a pussy, bro. Like I just. I just guzz tequila. I like, get anxiety. I, I, I if I take drugs, I usually get anxiety from them. So I like yeah, to I usually, just sip I usually on beer. take shrooms or I roll. So yeah, yeah. You, you go for it. Okay. We mingle. Yeah. We mingle. You know what I mean? We mix and match. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll see mingles. what happens. Yeah, yeah. Unofficially. But uh, uh, do you know um, Liquid Stranger? We've seen him like three or I, four I've heard times now. But good. Oh, like you know what's funny? I probably know his music. I just don't know his name. Yeah, like, yeah. You're you're like one, you're probably like the fourth person to bring up that name. Yeah, like, yeah, like top tier. Like yeah, incredible. the last like three festivals he's been at, and that's been like the highlight. Every festival has just been this guy like killing it. DJ Diesel, Shaq was there. He's yeah, always Shaq. a vibe. Dude, Shaq goes crazy. Shaq, bro. Crazy. This guy Shaq throws down, dude. He does. He dude, does throw down. My favorite videos on like when you pull up YouTube and like the fucking reels just you know just play for you. My favorite videos are like Shaq in the crowd and he's six foot fucking mm-hmm. yeah, he's seven one. Yeah, he's yeah. like literally se- he's, he's like a foot and a half taller than everyone and he's just like going ham like throwing bodies in the mosh pit. I'm dude. like yeah, dude, great. how is that a real person? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't... Dude, he is a Hall of Fame NBA player, all time personality, like face of like the NBA yep. fucking. Uh, and now he's time. DJing. And now he's DJing. Bro, <laughs> like killing it. And killing Why not? It. Yeah. The yeah. man's an American hero. Like he's an icon. Man. Honestly, <laughs> he's getting icon status for sure because of that. But uh, we're doing a new. We're doing another one. It's called Halloween coming up in the later in the year. And it's camping. gonna be our first camping festival. So that's going to be a vibe. Oh, my God. I'm going to yeah. camp for one night and then go to Caden's house. I was about to say, though, you, hey, yeah. Tyrus, you need a place to, to sleep. Yeah. Ty's camping is I a camp for one night so and then I'm going to get a shower. I got a guest room for you. Yeah. I'll get, Perfect. I got the mattress I, and everything. I need to freaking get a nah, shower. Yeah. Let, me, let me shit in, a wood, in the woods for a week. No, I can't. This man's going to get poison ivy on his asshole. Exactly. Dude. That's the goal. 
Let me feel something down there. <laughs> <laughs> just a, a little Lenium, just to feel a something. Lenium, we saw him. Yeah, but, but Lenium is a very girl. Guy, right? Yeah, he has tons of girls that love him. We and it was like they're mean, worshiping. His, his music yeah. is rather feminine. It's like Happy Trap. Stops. And the yeah, girls are yeah. like, I was like, are we worshiping? Like girls are just hand in the air, like <laughs> thinking about their ex. Like, oh. <laughs> are, we, are we worshiping? <laughs> I go to G, I'm like, dude, this is like lowercase G. What's like, the, <laughs> what's the level? Where's it, where does it switch off between admiring and worshiping someone? You know what I mean? Like if your, hands are, if your hands are in the air, you're worshiping. No. Yes, really? Right. Is that the call? Then I'm worshiping like a lot of people. Knees. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, God. You're, you're either really gay <laughs> or you're worshiping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> what? what? Oh. Oops. <laughs> it's the noobs button. Gio, give me, give me a list rundown of like, the woman for your, of your dreams. Oh, actually, I want physical. I want physical and number one and thing. They have to like intellectually challenge me. Like they have to bring up questions where I'm like, like fuck, that's a great. Like they have to make me uncomfortable sometimes when we speak. That's mm-hmm. like number one. If I'm too comfortable being able to talk to her and I feel like I'm running the conversation, that's a turn off. I love that. That's like so, number one. So like everyone wants to shit on men that are like assertive and blah blah and like yeah. always take charge and like. Alpha males. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People want to show an alpha males. I'm trying to find you an alpha be, woman. You want to be. You want an alpha female. You want a woman that's going to challenge. That. Do it. I'm, I'm not dope. an alpha male unless I have an alpha female. You know what I mean? Leader of the packs. Can I say? Yeah. Anyway, so challenges you intellectually, questions you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they gotta. I gotta find them attractive. You know what I mean? I mean, that's. But what's your physical type? <sighs> They they gotta have something to work with, you know. I gotta be able to play. So what is right, so, <laughs> so my physical type to a T, and All every right. girl I ever hook up with, every girl I go after, they look exactly the fucking same. It's uh, dude. Okay, so you know it by now. Generally, generally taller than average. My the perfect type to me is five eight to five eleven. Okay, I like tall, athletic girls, uh, rather thick, you know, built legs, ass. I don't. I'm really, I don't give a shit about tits. Like C's, yeah. are, C's are perfect, but like I don't give a fuck if they're you know, B's. Like, I don't. Yeah, care. yeah. But really pretty face, pr- pretty face. Face is very important. Built, like t- like I said, taller, rather you know, larger female like athlete, and I love long brunette hair. Mm. Long brunette, flowy hair, mm. and generally, BBLs. huh? BBLs. Big bo- what is that? Bo- big booty bitches. Big booty Latinas. Big, oh, mm. Latinas. I mean, the girl I'm with now is. Colombian, so okay. So My man, he's in there. <laughs> she knows what yeah. Ja, ja, ja means. Dude, ja, ja, ja. Listen to me. <laughs> listen to uh, me. Five Papa? eight one sixty, <laughs> and it's not fat. It's yeah. That's what I'm what? saying. You got, a, to run you got a lot to play with. You That's know what I mean, bro. You won't. You won't get bored. Well, my thing for you, Tyrus, when you say that, oh, I'm actually like looking for a wife. Mm-hmm. When you know, you know, bro. Exactly. And. Dude, my best friend in the entire world is, is Cal Cuvetier. Cal. He's the man. My middle school leader for my keys trip in seventh grade. Cal's the got funny possible. shit going on. He's oh, got no. He got shit. kicked out. He, they sent him home. Like, he's it was funny. Like, they, he's like, because there's another group of, like, middle school, another school hanging out in the hot tub. And he's like, dude, yeah, we're going to get all of you guys and go to the hot tub with them. Tim Flay, the principal, walked into the door and we're all just talking Top G stuff. And he's like, <laughs> had a long talk with him and he sent him home. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cal's, yeah. Cal's like probably the closest thing to me personality wise. He's he may be honestly a, a bit better. Yeah, attach like, a, okay. I, I have this ability to like offend certain people. He just doesn't for whatever reason, which is you know good for him. Yeah. But dude, he's my best friend in the entire world, and like that, like mm-hmm. he's well, I don't know G. where I was going with this. He's a top G. He's very comedic. He's I love his stuff. He's so you've seen his you've seen yeah, his videos. Yeah. Bro, very, how funny is his shit? Dude. Like when when he fucking does the Like the funny video? stuff he does though, like almost seems genuine, you know what I mean? Like he has a like, yeah, with the white claws? Yeah, the, yeah, white, the white claws claw video. <laughs> yeah. That oh, was funny. That was we great. That what movie it. was that? From? Yeah, right. It was it wasn't a movie. It was an it was an old spice commercial. No. Really? And he ripped the footage from the old spice commercial off. It's like white claw. You and it was this video? Can I see that? Oh, we'll dude, it's on we'll his Instagram. It. Like, don't, no, they'll play it right now. Yeah, it's yeah. hot tier. It's I him on, it's him on the beach. He cracks the white claw and bitches just flow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're just all running towards it. Running yeah. through the jungle. Just, <laughs> when I show that to people, like, bro, girls are so 
<laughs> I show that video to girls. They're like, "How did he get all these? How did he get them?" Oh my god! Oh my! <laughs> you know what's like, funny? We had a TikTok video where Ty and I like were fake pissed at each other, and I just knocked Ty out. And you, you hit him. And, and, every, and yeah, yeah. And we put a and, sound effect in of a punching noise. Yeah. And that's it. And people were like, oh, everyone was oh, like, dude, you you that's your friend. Yeah, yeah. 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 People yeah, yeah. Take it down. They took it down. They, they flagged it. That's, 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 that's how real it was. That's how real it was. It hit 30K in like two hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like two minutes. Yeah, it hit 30K yeah. and then it just flagged. I'm Social like, media's getting soft, man. I know. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> that is so funny. <sighs> you remember oh. Yik Yak? Dude, I mean, I got some bad stories that we can't bring up, but like, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we can. I got wrecked on Yik Yak. <laughs> I got destroyed on Yik Yak. You know what's bad? What did I say about you on Yik Yak? So they they wait, allowed, wait, well, they first said, off, was it true or was it a lie? It was a lie. Bullshit. All right, what, what did they say? <laughs> Does, hasn't taken hasn't taken his oh, shades shit. off one time the entire pod. I don't want to take I don't want to take too much credit, but I had the most upvoted yik yak out of all of high school. All time. Just just wanted to be what that guy. Another kid, girl, like the candy. It was you remember uh, Amber. Amber. I don't know, like Amber the Bella. black. Yeah. yeah, she she would sell Bro, candy. That girl got oh. really attached to me in high school. Oh, no, gosh. she great, girl. great very. Nice girl. Lovely Different. girl. Are we talking right, about she's got a boyfriend now. Like, dude, they're having a great time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, she, uh, yeah. We'll go for that. Do, do you remember in high school, in, when you were playing high school football, like, you had your cheerleader that would bring you candy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. She, like, topped Amanda Palolo. Oh, yeah. Like, no she brought way. me more shit than. Oh, she, she had candy like, for sure. Because my, my thing was, y'all want some candy? Dash Amber. And that was like the most upvoted, yeah, yik yak. It was like a hundred upvotes. I was like, damn. Was she still in school at the time? How, how, yeah, like, yeah. Was that was like, so we were. Yeah, you guys were like seniors. Grade. Yeah. Tyrus, what was yours was that got a? Yeah, that was me. My yik yak. Yeah, what was yours that you got okay. roasted? Yeah, yeah, allegedly. Oh, I remember it. I remember it. <laughs> Here we go. Allegedly. I remember it now. There was a girl. There was a girl, and allegedly someone wrote, "Tyrus just got a <laughs> from some girl in the school bus during the varsity <laughs> during the varsity football game." I remember and hearing. Dude, I had to go into the office with my mom oh, to Mr. No. Alphenor and say they're talking rumors about me. And, and your brother's a legend, sad. by the way. Like your brother, oh your God. old, your oldest brother, Javin. Oh, yeah. yeah, is like CCA like galore. Gold. Like, like, no. like, that's, like, the like, the gold like yeah. that's the golden like, standard. That's the golden standard. is like the all-time Florida like passing record, like quarterback of the fucking yeah. high school. Like yeah. married his fucking like sweetheart. Like yeah, had, great. Like yeah. he's a pastor now. Like, yeah, you literally. Like, all, like the Shishati name is like 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 written in gold in Calvary. And then like your mom has to come in for you getting your beat down. I know. <laughs> I was just, I'm like, mom, they're they're causing rumors about me. We need to go in and get ahead of this because it could end bad. And then I me, mean, I went in, I did a little. How was it? Was it real? Was it for real? Did no, you get the wasn't, BJ on the bus? It wasn't real. Hey. It wasn't real. Two, Unless, guy, two guys, one buzz. Yeah, two girls. Two, yeah, two guys, one buzz. I'm so dude, sorry for one that. One of the worst dares I ever landed was uh, middle school baseball on the bus. They fuck, I, I landed. I, I was a shit baseball player. I was, a, I was a good quarterback, but I was a shit baseball player. Yeah. So, like, they, they dared me up. <laughs> uh oh. One of the kids at Icy Hot. I don't like where this is going. No. Dude. But I see hot on the balls. I can already straight tell. To the no- straight to the gonads. Dude. No, dude. On who? Dude, you? I put that shit on my nuts. And like the first 10 minutes, I was like, bro, fuck you guys. It ain't shit. When it got, bro, when that shit turned. It's a slow build. <laughs> yeah. When that shit turned. Dude, and they put, the coach was like, go with the shortstop. I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> no, not going to happen. Uh, I was like, I don't think so. My shit's, my shit's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> it's the worst. Yet cold. Some people throw baby powder in there? Nah, icy hot. Oh, dude. I, bro. And, and it was like one of those like glade sticks, you know what I mean? Like, like, you know, uh, get a little like, bit. Uh, so I was just like painting my fucking ball. Get it in the dog. tip. Uh, no. Oh. Atrocious. <laughs> no. That's oh, bro, that baseball hot. team was incredible because we were so ass. You, you know something funny? It's dope to win, but when you're on a team that really sucks. Have you ever been, Tyrus, you ever been on a team that like sucked dick? So it's just like. Yeah. It's like, what oh, yeah. It's whatever. Like, what like, hey, let's screw team. around. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like that's the next thing. It's like, like let's just screw around. Like, let's fuck around. Like Casey DeBreck is your quarterback. Yeah, we and had him on JV for one year, like one year old. I love, dude. Like, I love Casey. All he would do is like, Tyrus, I don't care what the coach said about the play. Just go deep, and I'm gonna throw it to you. Go deep, I'm <laughs> gonna throw it to you. I'm gonna run in. Yeah, someone. exactly. I love Casey, bro. <laughs> yeah, he, dude, he was fucking great. He's, He's in Orlando right now. Oh, is he, let's get him be, over. Let's get him over. Getting here right now, actually. Is he coming to the house? Yeah, he's gonna be with his girl. Over, Wait, so he's bringing Kirsten up? No, he, Kirsten he lives, lives up here now. That'll be her, that'll be a great scene. Her, 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 yeah, right. she's passing her test for lawyer stuff. 
Like, I think she already passed it. So she's listen, like, Daddy works for Trial Pro, so she needs a job. You know. Yeah. Trial. Pro. She, yeah. Actually, uh, I want to hear more of the strip club stories. I want to hear. We, we can leave this out, but yeah, she was my high. She was the only girl I. She was my only high school girlfriend. Yeah. My, okay. Our junior. It was. Bullshit, I'm too lazy bro. to edit it out, so like. It was. <laughs> it was. It was bullshit, bro. Like, dude, I couldn't drive. Like, my mom was super strict. It was. It was awful. But. Yeah. Is it like, hey, mom, can you drive me to the movies? Oh, like, totally. like, no, it was more like, hey, mom, can you drive me to her house? And then like, Kirsten would have to drive me home and drop me off, and then drive back home to Coral Springs. <laughs> she was driving before you. Dude, I gotta be honest, bro. Like, I had strict parents, so I never. Same. I didn't get my first license till I was 19. Like, I went to college. Really? What? Yeah, dude. I, I taught myself to drive. My parents never taught me. Like mm. that's why to this day, like I mean, I'm a top G, so I'd fucking drive with one hand. I got my other hand on a girl's thigh, but yeah. like, you God know what I mean. But like at the same time, like I literally, I did my fr- Cole Garcia, Cole oh. Garcia, had, bro, the Cole. OG, bro, that's OG. my guy. Cole Garcia in high school, I was like 16 or 17, and I didn't know how to drive. And he had a Ford. F- he had like a used old like hand me down like white ford f-150 yeah and he took me in his neighbor he lived in like one of the back neighborhoods in pompano and he True. just took me he's like like you don't know i <laughs> it's like drive you know you gotta <laughs> oh, ease yeah. on, you know bro like dude it's seriously he's like you gotta ease on the brake you ease on the gas like it's not that hard you know what i mean well, bro like the first time i did it, i fucking slammed the brake because i didn't know any better and fucking you know you yeah, yeah. Forward. yeah that's a good friend right there though and sure. he taught me he goes no like even if even if someone slams in front of you you still ease on you know like it's it's just part of learning because mm-hmm. I never, I didn't. Dad, my mom wouldn't teach me and shit. So, mm. what happens? Alec, what time are we at? Yeah, I'm, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna cool. guess. Uh, one ten. Are we at one oh seven? Ooh, oh. that was a top G guess oh, for sure. Gio, what are we looking for? Women? Are are, are you are you okay, looking? So we're going are, back are to just, this question. Are you just casual. Um, because bro, it matters to me because I've watched your clips and like, it's dude, good. It's a good question. It's, it's a good legit. question. Like, um. I would say I'm not in a rush, but like if I can like find someone that sticks out, that's how I know. Like they have to stick but, out from a crowd. Are you looking to just for the time being just please yourself? Are you looking to just kind of go on a little tear? Or do you just need to like burn through a few girls? That's to, a good like, question. I th- I would say like that's how I. Whenever I get hurt, whenever I get my heart broken, yeah, I just burn through like. Like part of me wants to say that, but I just know that's like not who I am. Like if that happens, it happens. But like I'm not like looking for it type of vibe. If that makes sense. No, I'm with two fucking studs. Like you guys, at the end of the day, let's be real. You two are boyfriend material. Oh, for Good sure. For I mean, guys. you know. The Disney catalog on Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah. I watch Moon Knight over again. If you if, back if, in business. If there's a girl that ever wants to go to Disney Springs, this is your guy. This is like <laughs> Tyrus will hold your hand. He knows. He knows the back and forth to he Disney will, Springs. He will fucking take, go on the rides with you. He'll I'll buy. He'll him. buy yeah. you the expensive ass. He's got a fast pass on lock. Oh like, yeah, dude. Oh, dude. His ability to I'm diabetic. I just oh. say, hey, I'm. Bro, shoot. One of your clips and they killed me. I was fucking deceased. The one where you're like, dude, I just need a, little, a chick that's a little, like, not a, not all full blown, but like, I just need a, li- I just need a little, <laughs> uh, a little yeah. bit autistic. A little, a little Thing. Yeah, and, 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 you know, and I'm diabetic, so like we'll we'll cut to the right. Dude, she'll be too busy looking at the hippos. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, I, yeah. I watched that clip in the car. I almost hit someone in front of me. I almost rear-ended someone. I was laughing yeah. so hard. Yeah, and they're autistic, so they just take everything literally. So it's like they know what you want, and they're like, "Yeah, I bet." Like there's, bet. there's no games. They don't know how to play games. <laughs> it's good. Because let's be real, guys. Like oh, I almost said guys like us, but I mean, you know. I mean, top G. Guys like me until the other day, you know. Until the other day. I'm a fallen man, dude. I'm taken, bro. Hey, taken, taken. Well, we'll see. So my, my first big test. So me and her have been a thing. We've been talking for a month, whatever. Yeah. My first big test is uh, next weekend I go on a cruise with uh, probably my biggest red flag boys. True. Cal the and squad. Then Cal the and squad. Then two others. Yeah. And um, it they're essentially the boys that, like, I probably pull the hardest. Like, like other, like. When we're together, they lift you up. They lift you up. Like, dude, I pull regardless, but it's like when we're when we're together, it's like, dude, we're unstoppable. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like it's it's not a, it's, not, it's not a matter of like when you, you know, get men together, like it's just a whole other. There's just a, there's a certain en- when there's yeah. energy, energy in the air, and it's 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 not a matter of like, oh, are we gonna pull? T-? It's a matter of like like what level are we gonna just make out? Are we gonna are we gonna yeah. take her home? Like, what's the deal? Yeah. And um, I'm going out with those guys, and I told I I told told the gal, you know, I told her, I said, look, like this is a big test for me, but. I'm yours to this point. So there you go. Let's see. Let's see if I have boyfriend material in yeah. me. But see what that cruise does to you. We'll have to get an update. Well, I'll give you an update, but I, I'm. I just want to say, like, we can end the pod with this. I'm so. I'm so fucking impressed with the setup, the fucking crew you got. Yes, the, sir. The, the the production. Yeah. The editing, like, dude, 
you guys are real deal crushing it, and you guys Thank are you. absolute studs. Like the fact that you, t you know, I can't say that. Geo and Tyrus. Yes, yeah. sir. He's got yeah, Alec on the soundboard. You. Alec's fucking killing it. Look at this guy. It's Alec, right? It's not Alex. It's Alec. With the C, yeah. With the C. C? With a with a big C. Thank you know you. what I mean? Big C. Hey. Big C. All, All right. Up, Tyrus. We're good here. Um, thank you for watching Hanger Chode, a Hanger Slang. Hanger Slang. <laughs> uh, like and subscribe. I should probably put one of those subscribe hey, things here. It was an absolute pro it was an absolute pleasure. <laughs> absolute pleasure. Hey, we're gonna go let's ski with the boys. So we're gonna go uh, get let's ski. So, so uh, uh peace, peace out. Peace out. And uh if you're rollerblade, you're gay. Wait, it's fine. Wait, be sure to like and subscribe to Tristan Lago Vlogs. Tristan Lago Vlogs. Give, give him the plug. Here we go. It'll be in uh, link in bio. Link in bio. Alrighty. Peace. peace. And that's a pod.